let's see what's good in here cheese eggs mayo more spread where's the good stuff now well, i guess i'll just drink some sprite today zero sugar extremely refreshing uh, sure why not that ultra the hell hmm. Hmm. Huh. interesting might as well try it. Hmm. Interesting. Not bad, I suppose. A little tangy flavor. Refreshing, surely. Kind of lean. Maybe a little bit... Hmm. I don't know. Kind of fresh lean. and gentlemen to a new episode of Cooking with Rick and of course a new episode of reaction video as well a little mix up here because we always liked one of those huh the newest reaction video that we're gonna broke in today is as you had seen it in the title the Elden Lean by Set but besides that I also found a new a recipe that I wanted to try out as well it's called Kung Pao Chicken I believe and I found that uh, little recipe in one of those calendars that you see you know the ones uh, that you have like in each month with an interesting kind of recipe that says uh, you need this and this and this I uh, found the rest full recipe on this website and so I did and I thought oh that's pretty actually kind of nice uh, some ingredients are a little bit too exotic for my taste but I thought hey what the hell might as well tr try it out you know once in a while I kind of really like the Asian food so I thought this was gonna be excellent time to try out the newest uh, cooking video as well some recipe that I've never made in my life so it's gonna be quite interesting so without any further ado let's go right into the newest cooking video introducing the first with the ingredients all right and back into my ghetto ass kitchen don't mind the floor of the linoleum it's just a little bit run down and always full of sand and grime and dirt because apparently somebody in this house doesn't take off their goddamn shoes when they go outside and come back inside god damn it it's like every two days i clean this place up and it gets just dirtier and dirtier <sighs> oh well home's home Anyways, what do we got for today's or Kung Pao chicken stir fry whatever ingredients? Well, let's start with our left side. We got some. Uh, oh yeah, we get uh, this recipe is gonna be divided in like two parts. One for marinating sauce, and the other one is gonna be for stir fry. So yeah, we'll just show how it works later on. First ups first, we got our chili peppers. We got our red bell peppers or paprika. We got some deboned chicken thighs. We got some ginseng seed or inverse in our language. I wanted to get some fresh one, but then I thought, eh, I'll just get one in powdered form instead because it's pretty much the same, you know, uh, like the effect that you can get since it's gonna be like for marinating or whatever. Uh, we got also some cornstarch. I like the little packages they packed me in, in this uh, one little special spice shop that I went to. It's uh, almost like a drunk deal. <laughs> Interesting, huh? We also got some brown sugar here. 
We also got some uh, peanuts, the, you know, the usual kinds. Not None of those uh, fancy ass like uh, Indian peanuts or whatever or walnuts. Just, you know, the normal kind of peanuts that you see in any store. Of course, they have to be unsalted. We also have some white wine. Not sweet, not medium sweet. This one is, I believe... Uh, so says, uh, how do you say it in English? Dry wine. Yes, you need some dry white wine. Of course, never go wrong with soy sauce. Some uh, fresh peppers. Rice vinegar. And of course, grapeseed oil. Very fancy. So I hope you guys enjoy my fancy ass uh, ingredients here. Because these two things, especially here, cost a quite a dime. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Russia. I definitely needed that increase in price range for my produce. Great. But anyways, first things up, what we are gonna do is prepare our chicken. We're gonna cut it up in little stripes and pieces and start up with our marinade. So yeah, let's do that. All right, and here we go. Our chicken, deboned chicken thighs have been cut out in nice strips. I kind of hate chicken thighs because they're always full of like uh, little bones, like mini bones or whatever from uh, their legs. You know, the, what do you call it? Ah, whatever. It's just full of bones. It's kind of fucking annoying when you have to cut it up and you feel it and you say like, oh shit, there's a little piece of bone. I have to cut it out with like 10% of the meat out. Oh well, this is why I mostly just prefer a uh, normal kind of, you know, chicken breast because it's just like plain, juicy, nice, tender chicken breast and that's pretty much it. But yes, anyways, uh, next up the recipe calls for, for our little marinade, for our chicken here is let's see one tablespoon of cornstarch so this should be more than enough let's put that bad boy inside maybe just a bit more there we go cornstarch in and ready two tablespoons of wine this should be more than enough one and two. And one for me, of course. Ah, delicious. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. Not the light one, but uh, the dark rich one. The light one is gonna go for the other one. So let's see. Have to open up this bad boy. Come on. Ah, there we go. Two tablespoons. One. And two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're just gonna mix that this bad boy up and we're gonna leave it in the fridge for to marinate about uh, let's see, yay about 30 minutes or so. And while we marinate our meat, in the meantime we can prepare our other ingredients, you know, cut up the uh, uh, paprika, the uh, chili peppers, and you know, see what else is going on. Maybe, you know, watch some videos or whatever, or, you know, play with yourself. I don't know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. So, anyways, it's been almost 20 minutes or so. Our meat is still marinating in the fridge. I'll give it about 10 more minutes or a little bit more, seeing how it goes. But before that, uh, we still have a few things to prepare. I already cut up my vegetables, my pep, uh, paprika here, and my chili peppers over here. Uh, one more thing that we need to do. All oh, right, I put some peanuts in my new cool ass oven. Let me just show you it. There we go, baby, yeah. I can make all the frozen pizzas I want now, yeah. Kinda came out the cheap price as well, and I'm kinda enjoying it as well. It's much better than the uh, old stove that I had here where my fridge is. Doesn't clutter up too much space. Well, almost, and it's kinda cost efficient as well actually. And it's quite easy to uh, wash and clean and maintain. So it's not really that kind of a grimy monstrosity as the old oven. So it's kinda enjoyable. Uh, right now I'm roasting my peanuts inside about five minutes or so until they're nice golden and brown. And in the meantime, I'm gonna prepare a sauce as well. 
Let's see, the recipe calls for us to... All right, while the chicken is marinating, yes, that is going. In a small bowl over here, we're gonna mix up the rice vinegar, soy sauce, and brown sugar, and leave it on the side. So let's see, how much does it call for? Uh, rice vinegar, about two tablespoons. So yeah, all right. Let's first open this bitch up. Ah, oh, god damn it! Must they always just seal them so tightly? Come on, really? There we go. Right, there we go. Hmm, smells really nice, like normal vinegar, but not as strongly. I remember when I was making a beet soup for my school, in my cooking school, I, instead of like uh, the normal kind of a vinegar that you have to ask, Add to the recipe, I added vinegar essence, and that's like 100 times much more stronger. So when <laughs> the recipe called for like uh, five tablespoons or so, I thought, really, you want me to add this strong stuff in? And I'm like, well, shit, all right, <laughs> it's your recipe. I added the stuff in and holy shit, it just went through my sinuses and just ended on the other side so quickly, so fast. God damn it, it was just so strong. So yeah, remember, Vinegar and vinegar essence are two different things, so don't mix those bad boys up like I did. Anyways, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, one and two. Let's see, what else? Uh, soy sauce, the light one. Yes, I definitely have that in my fridge. Let's see, where are you? Oh, there we go. Just enough to make a difference. The last one. Good thing I had some left over. Add this one in. Let's see. What else does it need? Uh, let me let me see. Let me see. Uh, soy sauce, rice vinegar, and sugar. How much brown sugar do I need? One point five teaspoons. All right, we can do that. There we go. Never actually tried brown sugar in my life. Don't know how good it is or how bad it is. They say it's much better than regular sugar, but to be honest, I've never seen the difference. Apparently this one is made from, uh, what was it? The, uh, I forgot the name. This sugar canes, yeah, that's the one. So one and one point five, so about half. All right, that should be it. Let's mix this bad boy just a little bit. All right, and leave it on the side. And that's pretty much for the sauce. And yeah. We got some few more minutes until uh, six minutes or maybe ten more extra minutes until our peanuts are done roasting and our chicken is finally done marinating. So yeah, let's see. All right, I think it's time to get serious and time to get cooking. Our chicken here is marinated quite nicely. Our peanuts here are nice golden brown as well. Mmm, taste. Very hot and crunchy. I got my little mix of garlic, ginseng seed, and some fresh top grinded up black peppers. Here, just and ready when I need to put it in. Now, we're just gonna douse a little bit of oil. Start putting in our chicken. Let's see, where is my little mixer here? Ugh, I got so much stuff here. I also got on the side dish here boiling some rice uh, because I had lots of less of uh, rice. Normally it said uh, that you should add like, uh, I believe, rice noodles, but I didn't have any and you know, it's like whatever.
God damn. Yeah, this bad boy is frying up quite nicely, I'll tell you that. Now we just need to cook up this chicken until it's uh, about halfway done. We don't need to cook it completely thoroughly because we're gonna take off our chicken here outside and put it on the pan and put in our uh, paprika first and on our chili peppers and then only our chicken. Mix it up uh, together with the sauce that we prepared on the side. In retrospect, let me tell you, I probably should have cleaned off that uh, excess soy sauce that got stuck to the bottom of the wok pan because it wasn't that bad. I mean, nothing's too serious, but still, cleaning it off later on with the other ingredients that were, you know, kind of a little bit burnt on the bottom was a hellish experience, let me tell you that. And now we're gonna add our paprika in.
Now we can add our chili peppers in. And our little mix of spices. and I'll just then take this bad boy off. Mmm, the garlic, the ginseng, and the other spices are just mixing up and smells awesome. Now let's see what else is our recipe calling for. We got our rice ready. Our chicken is sitting on the side. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, three minutes, blah blah blah, chingo ill, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah. We can finally put in our chicken back in. With our sauce. Now we just mix it all up and boil down the sauce until it's completely gone out. Just keep stirring and keep frying. And yeah, we gotta cook this bad boy until the sauce is not gone completely, but almost gone. Almost halfway done. And of course, we can't forget adding our peanuts. Mm, the smell is overwhelming. I can already feel it's gonna be quite delicious actually. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you make Kung Pao chicken. All the slaps, just cook a little bit, just a little bit more, and we're gonna start plating. And here we go, Kung Pao chicken in its all its glory. We got our rice here on the side dish, and we got our chicken here on the top as well. It looks pretty, 
appetizing, not gonna lie. And it smells, oh, it smells so awesome. You can especially uh, really smell the overpowering, uh, overpowering aroma of the peanuts as well, especially since they were roasted in my oven here. And whoa, well, I gotta say, this turned out pretty quite nicely, I gotta say. And I can't wait to dig in, so let's try out the taste test, huh? The peanuts are nice and crunchy and really good, especially since I roasted them uh, before I put them in. The rice is cooked as always to perfection. The chicken is nice, moist and tender as well. Wow, hot. And it's not all that's very overpowering. All the ingredients, all the spices are mixing quite well. The heat is enough from the chili peppers and from the heat itself. <laughs> it's not too spicy, so you can't really taste that much of the spice. You know, as usually, some people would uh, just put maybe, I don't know, some, uh, what was it, cayenne peppers, and that would just completely kill the dish. But I would say everything pretty outbalances itself in this dish and it pretty, tastes pretty damn nice. Mm. Really good. It tastes really awesome. Mm. Love it. Well, what can I say? Kung Pao Chicken was a major success. 10 out of 10. Man, I'm so good. But yes, anyways, I'm gonna finish this up, clean up my workplace, and that's it for the cooking video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video. Have you have any suggestions for the next recipe I should try out? Uh, go ahead. I have still have my giant recipe book at home, that I still have so many recipes that I want to try out. I also got some few new recipes that I found out in some brochures, and you know, the usual commercial pages that I found at uh, you know at the supermarkets that they usually put out and you know just uh, so but people could buy their stuff but I think it's you know kind of nice and yeah that's pretty much it uh, next up we're gonna jump on the Elvin Lean sets react video and that's gonna pretty much tie up all the loose ends hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the part two of the continuation. I'm not sure, um, It's right now it's evening, so I don't think I'm gonna put out the video today, which is the April of, well, actually, what day it is? April of 16. I think I'm gonna make the reaction video some other day, in like three days, because I have so much work to do, but don't worry, uh, the video is gonna come out, or it has already come out if you're watching this. Never mind, it's confusing with the timelines. But yes, cooking video is done, and I'm gonna make the React video in a few days, and then it's gonna be pretty much awesome. So yeah, guys, see you a bit later. Peace. All right, here we go. Before I forget, yesterday I finished my cooking, and I still have some Kung Pao chicken left over, so... Mm. I'm gonna enjoy that bad boy all day. Or oh, as long as it gets. But right now, let's get into this new set video. The Elden Lean. I never played Elden Ring or any kinds of Dark Souls or Soul-like games. It's never been really up to my, you know, shtick. Not because it's hard or anything, but I kind of always find the storylines confusing. And, you know, it's like, I don't know. I guess the, I can uh, understand the appeal of open world game, like, the, if I understand, once you play Elden Ring, you just, there's no, like, uh, main mission, you just go outside and explore and do your own thing, and uh, that's actually kind of cool and all that, but I like actually more of linear kind of storyline with open world aspects and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll see what that has to do, has to say about this game. Let's get into it. Hey, hey, people. 
SF here. They the said is people here. Experimental and may come off as disjointed or schizophrenic. I don't care. Elden mm. Ring, the newest. <laughs> don't worry about it. Hideo Miyazaki of Ghibli Studios, famous for classic animations such as Howl's Moving Mausoleum oh. and My Invader Totoro. <laughs> software have really outdone themselves as this game features not one but Damn. two crustaceans, possibly even more. Unfortunately, uh -oh. I Crap have people. the ability to swim, so I can't <laughs> confirm or deny that. The game begins. Wait, you can't swim in this game? Why not? Are you like... Oh, you're playing a black character. <clears throat> Never mind. And I make my character. His name? Some boo boo. His friend, <laughs> naturally, is wretched. I did originally consider prisoner, but I chose not to. I took the key as my starting Slay. item and live to regret it after I get in the. I posted that meme the uh, one week. Oh, it was a good meme, but uh, fuck's sake. This is why I'm never gonna go on Tinder ever again. I get access to a side dungeon and get run over repeatedly by a speeding train. I chose instead <laughs> to go the other way. After camping uh. a few times, Melina comes by and offers me an accord. I put ah, yes. it down because. I think it's funny. No maidens. I to kill Morgoth and Godric before I realize I haven't leveled up. How was I supposed to know I had to say yes? Miyazaki, just because I yeah, have the ability to talk to a woman doesn't mean I'm going to take it. I think that's a symptom Me? of Me? Talking design. to women? Ugh, no I thanks. I the oldest trick in a book. Uh -oh. A warm embrace of a woman's lap. Only Ooh. to find out a hundred hours later, it's Succubus. actually a debuff. What yeah. did they mean by this? Mm. I guess we'll have to consult a 40 minute <laughs> lore video to figure out the true symbology behind this item description. I tell you, passive storytelling at its very best. Especially there is no stolen storytelling. Die or start t posing during your playthrough. <laughs> this might bother people. People who believe there's a story, which is the equivalent of finding a bunch of random notes and thinking. Yeah, I believe there should be a linear storyline, or at least I know some kind of storyline. Soul like games, and I mean, the Elden Ring, as far as I can see, is just a clusterfuck of, you know, webs and intrigues all over the place that you can't really wrap your mind around. I mean, you can read all the quest texts or, you know, all the dialogues as much as you want, but it's not like you're gonna get anywhere. <laughs> you're still gonna be like, oh, what am I supposed to do here? Get maidens? Uh, get bitches? Uh, marry Rani? That's definitely, yes, that's the main point, but no, something else. To yourself? Damn, that book was wild. Halo plot <laughs> is crazy. Have you not read all the secret terminals? On the bright side, Dark Souls lore channels now have- Oh, thank god I haven't read the books because then I would have to fucking watch the newest TV series and be like, Oh wow, this is completely amazing, which is not. I've seen this TV series. It's- it's shit. A steady source of bread for the next four years. I mm. assure you, you'll know every side character better than your own family. <laughs> I don't remember which war Granddad was fighting, but what? I do know Patches. I know that, canonically, he is circumcised. Honestly, what? I don't judge. I still get to have my wife, Ronnie. What I'm criticizing nice. is the involvement of this fat fuck. Something <laughs> <laughs> all for helping to weave the oh, narrative fuck experience. this guy. Okay, let's, let's see what this dude wrote. Sunset yeah. found her squatting in the grass, what? groaning. Every stool was looser oh, than geez. the one before and smelled fouler. By the time the moon came up, she was shitting brown water. The more she drank, the more she shat. But the more she shat, the thirstier she grew. And her thirst sent her crawling to the stream to suck up more water. I rest my case. J.R.R. Martin is the greatest author who has ever lived. He has also never finished his books. And oh, God damn it. I mean, why aren't you surprised? <laughs> I mean, this guy pretty much wrote, uh, if I remember in the books about Daenerys, he pretty much wrote her off as an underage slut who slept with that Dario Naharis guy in every conceivable way and just filled her holes in every conceivable way. It was pff, fucked up. I'm glad that Game of Thrones saga is completely over and we won't have to hear about that shit ever again because... Yeah. So, fittingly, From Software has embodied the spirit of J.R.R. Martin oh, by yeah? uh, never finishing a single quest line. <laughs> nice. is an ambitious platformer, and if you disagree, you haven't played the game, because half the no, game I is haven't. Jumping, <laughs> jumping with a head start or falling into a hole, into a no. canyon, into a place you originally wanted to, but accidentally jumped before doing so, yeah. adding an extra foot to the height of your fall, which turned it into a lethal descent. There's Yikes. nothing I love more than jumping awkwardly off rooftops, but uh, 
how do we spice it up? Archers. Mm. You love archers. They're no, I don't. Roof, and they've got tracking. And guess what? The sewer levels are back. And this time, oh, I love sewers. The plot. Yeah, I'm thinking game of the year. Calling them out <laughs> in your game, Torrent. What's with that fucking genius. hat, man? So anybody <laughs> oh, Jesus Elden Christ. Ring Torrent gets a bunch of horse pictures instead. <laughs> I can't wait until Elden Ring. Do I? Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Cool. All right. Thing two features the popular and beloved character Codex De Nuvo pre cracked no virus. But, uh, why are we here? Oh, dude. Oh, wait, I, I gotta take another screenshot. <laughs> we're here Jeez, for the difficulty because we're hardcore gamers. Uh, take it from me. I've already beaten the final boss, John Elden Ring, so I can give mm. a few pointers. Have you ever used a weapon, armor, fast travel, <laughs> potions, or opened the world map? And of course. To say, but uh, you're playing the game wrong. This game what? is meant to be played level one as a wretch using a single club. No upgrades. <laughs> if you disagree, then I'll call you a casual. If you Fuck ever hear someone talking like this, Take pity on them, because this behavior is <laughs> characteristic of someone who stacks no paper and gets no bitches. This game yeah. is no hard, not because it's not hard, <laughs> but because video games fundamentally aren't hard. You know what's hard? The circumstances of life. Me, getting into right home, now. Having a <laughs> stable family, being born <laughs> with a baby Christ. arm. You're born and one arm develops normally into an adult arm. But the other is this stunted mini child arm, which mm, uh, stops growing at like three years of age. So you're this... Freakish monstrosity. You'll be known around town as Baby Arm Man. And the <laughs> only job you'll ever have is Baby Arm Stock Photo. Because it's nice. harder for them to get a kid to pose for that. It's a lot more convenient to have a malformed monstrosity on standby. Furthermore, I what the hell are you talking that about pattern that? recognition is a form of cheating. <laughs> Your homo sapiens brain is literally <laughs> destroying the difficulty of the experience by compensatory adaptation. I hope that people consider Fuck this in the sake. future and later learn to recognize that the truest from you know what this uh ui of a parody reminds me of uh either what was it uh what was that fucking korean game with the lollies called uh something something online it started with an e well first of all this reminds me of world of warcraft if you have like bajillion add-ons on with the ui so yeah and the other one was ah man Terra Online, that's the one, yeah, that's with the uh, pedal shit in it. Oof, yikes. From software experience would be a lobotomite run <laughs> where prior oh, to no. playing, we perform a frontal lobotomy and sever <laughs> your prefrontal cortex. Sometimes the only option you have to preserve the purity of your experience is brain damage. Multiplayer mm, enhances course. the experience. Sometimes you'll see white phantoms briefly appear. These are players from other worlds going Whoa. through their own journey. Once, cool. I saw a white phantom appear, teabagging a dead NPC. <laughs> In this moment, I nice. knew I was playing a masterpiece. Messages and appraisal are exactly how <laughs> Secrets. Reddit believe karma works. You upvote, and you get actual physical nourishment from the karma. Oh, look, oh, nice. a message on the floor. Maybe someone out there will tell me something useful. Then yeah. you open it and read it, only to see Dog Butthole, closely <laughs> followed by Fortnite. According to a true story, <laughs> once upon a time, Miyazaki's Smart. car broke down in the middle of a road. This was during winter, so no help was to be found. Mm. When suddenly, three strangers <laughs> appeared out of nowhere, <laughs> sucked him off, and left without even saying a word. That's how Miyazaki got the inspiration for Souls multiplayer. Gameplay <laughs> stunning, effervescent. Just like Bloodborne was a complex allegory for sexually transmitted HIV, Elden Rang is a rich synesthesia between seeing Swampland and remembering Blight Town or hearing Leyendale long after you've left the capital because my ears are mm. still ringing from the sound of those fucking trumpets. Actual real critique. No jokes, no giggles. I think every boss should have a stake of America outside the boss room. Generally, this is true, but sometimes I gotta walk. And traditionally, I do not consider walking yours for a plebeians. <laughs> now, the walks are more generous than any other. Ah, uh, you shouldn't walk, you should do a speedrun. I remember I saw this one video where the guy did like a speedrun under like 12 minutes or so, you know, just no clipping through one zone through another. Now, that's what I call a good cardio. Souls game, but just because somebody chose to take a smaller shit in my rice, doesn't change the fact <laughs> that it's still there. Inside my bowl, steaming up my I would also have originally said that the death screen is quite long, but then I re 
realized it's working as intended. You see, when you die in PvP, <laughs> you have no option but to watch helplessly as someone spams point down and repeatedly defiles your dead body. My complaints are pretty mild. If, like me, you didn't realize Vigor has a non-linear scaling, it would have helped immensely to know that going 10 to 20 makes no tangible difference, but 20 mm. to 40 is all the difference between taking a blow and getting one-tapped by most of the game. I wish I knew that at the start. Luckily, this game uh, is very generous with its ability to re Yo, what's with the egg? If you're the still fuck? paranoid, you can back mm. up your save at no risk. I've done this more than a hundred times without issue and recommend you do the same, because despite what anybody says, there's a million ways mm. to brick your save. I've done it, I can oh, reproduce cool. it, it's still there. Also, <laughs> easy anti-cheat is a very good anti-cheat, because it's very easy to turn off. My friend may have done exactly that, and more. Tell mm, me, Seth, nice. was he punished? Is he banned? <laughs> no, some of the later <laughs> fights have interesting hitboxes, not like I care. I cheesed through that shit. This game makes nice. me realize the greatest companion you'll ever have is yourself. So nice. why not make a copy? <laughs> or, before continuing, we have to stop and talk about the best character in the game, uh, Dung Eater. Dung Loves Eater. Dung Eater. Ferocious feaster of feces. Devious doo-doo devourer. <laughs> Dung Eater consumes excrement, <laughs> feces, shit, even nihilistic. And why is there a character like that? His greatest <laughs> desire is to eat the poo-poo and oh, God. murder you and defile your dead body. I, I, I fucking regret that I know that picture with the spiral. I can't believe I have after all these years, one of the sets like reviews with the fucking, uh, what was it, the, his Heroes of Might and Magic review and the fucking Spiral picture, I thought it was like kind of weird with Spiral there and you know, at the uh, subway place until somebody like uh, somewhere posted like the full picture and then I realized, oh, that's, that's not a hot dog that he's uh, putting mustard on, that's... That's something else and much more disgusting. Ah, you fucking scatboatster, seriously. Think there's a lot we can learn from Dung Eater, but as a society, we're not yet ready for that conversation. We live in a bills. society! There's many bills. Strength is terrible until you realize you can mm. power stance through the entire game and block everything else with barricade shield for zero stamina. Going strength, oh, nice. unfortunately, puts you at the highest risk group for naming <laughs> yourself the Black Swordsman and cosplaying as your favorite slice of life anime. <laughs> if I see you doing this, I'll summon you intentionally so I can kick you for my world. Dick <laughs> Do you enjoy katanas? How yes. about double katanas? Whoa! Longer than the last. Using awesome. realistic, historically accurate sword techniques from feudal era Japan? What about epic PvP compilations? Whoa. Say no more. <laughs> Get a river of blood today. Intelligence. Some would say a great deal of their enjoyment comes from learning the moveset of every boss. A rhythmic dance mm. between sword, sword, I've never been and much of a, a caster. symphony. Silence only by death. Others would disagree. I'm confident that if you ask any player running sorcery, what's their favorite boss? They'll recoil in surprise and say, I don't know any. I just <laughs> sit at the back and spam Azure Comet. Faith <laughs> incantations are very good. Oh, Amazing you got them cheese bastard. Flame to cast them instantaneously is even better. And before you say it, I know. It's working exactly as intended. <laughs> you know what else is Ah, oh, you cheesy this. fucker. Also, this and this. My greatest enjoyment of this game, beyond the exploration, the richness of the graphics, and the scale of the world they made, has been abusing every mechanic I possibly can before it gets patched out. And so, mm. inevitably, I have taken to abusing other players. You <laughs> might call them humans. I call them people who use Moonvale unironically. And so, I feel no remorse for Guinea any pigs. of my actions. In summary, Elven Ring attracts many different responses. Some fillet the long shaft of FromSoft endlessly. Others hate it because of their own incompetence. Watching yeah, because it's hard. Oh. of a Dunning-Kruger effect, these people believe that failure is not their own and somehow inflicted upon them by the universe. You can't be bad at video games, as video games are merely a subject matter. No, that... <laughs> That's right. I'm not bad at video games. Video games are just bad. I'm just uh, way too good at this game. Fuck's sake, who keeps messaging on fucking Discord? All oh, right, I forgot to turn off notifications. Fucking hell, never mind. There's a deficit in your cognitive ability, something that likely plagues you in every <laughs> aspect of your life. In summary, if you're bad at video games, you're bad at life. You've got a smooth yeah. brain and a low IQ. Oh your no! Is to be a grunt in That's the new bad. world order. And then there's All others right. like me who are quietly waking up to the fact that maybe 
Maybe. We should have never dropped those bombs to be begin with. I guess what I'm trying to say is Elden Scrolls, 10 out of 10, garbage. I love it. What? As always, more content <laughs> you love it, you hate so it? What the hell, man? interested in some merchant multiplayer, password Fug Hunt goes in all fields. <laughs> first 52 and they get a 15 the fuck does that mean? First month of FugHunters.com, the official sponsor of this video. And now, allow me to conclude this presentation with some calming visuals. Rest of course, assured, go most ahead. Of the things seen here can no longer be afflicted on another human being. A warm <laughs> thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're of all course. Truly wonderful. Have we are. Day. We are indeed. Uh, uh, yeah. Get out of here with that shit, man. Yo, you don't know me and you don't know I'm going through, so... Alright. Alright. Oh, what's this? End credit scenes? You're a yeah. madman. Alright. <laughs> Alright. That's... Phone? Yep, that's all I needed, baby. It's <laughs> amazing. Calling Hideo Miyazaki at 3 a.m. Oh no. <laughs> and it's just your disappointed father, huh? Hello? Hello? He Hello? Hideo Miyazaki? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> just ch calling some Vietnamese restaurant at 3 a.m. <laughs> or some random people on, you know, phone book on the Chinese media or whatever. Oh, god damn it. Well, this was another great video by Seth. Really enjoyed it, as well as my delicious meal here. Hmm. Awesome. Never gonna buy this game ever again. Or ever. So forget about even asking me to stream it or whatever because I do not like Souls Lake games but doesn't mean that I don't enjoy other people watching it and failing at many points and rage quitting so yeah that's pretty much awesome so here's the like and yes thank you set for this beautiful video hope you guys enjoyed this react video and as well my cooking video stay tuned for more content to come and I'll see you guys next time so yeah Peace out. See ya.